What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new and this is your first time here, welcome for the first time. Random thing to share that hopefully this is not your first time here just because of my like little impediment I have today, but I have a cold sore on the inside of my mouth that hurts so freaking bad. It's like rubbing my tooth with every word I say. So if you're wondering why I look kind of weird, hopefully I don't look too weird, but if you're wondering why I look some type of not normal way with my mouth, it's because of that cold sore. So if you're new here, there's that. Normally I don't have this issue, but I'm really excited for today's video. First off, as you can tell, I have no makeup on. We're gonna be talking about some Erno Laszlo skincare products, some brand new products that I've never tried before. And if you are new here, Erno Laszlo is one of my top favorite skincare brands on the planet, literally in my top three favorite skincare brands. They just produce some of the best, most high quality and most effective skincare around. And fun fact, they are one of Marilyn Monroe's favorite skincare brands as well. So they are trusted, been around for forever and not going anywhere anytime soon. So just an overall great skincare brand. So the products we're going to be using today is their Vitality Treatment Mask. My skin is needing a mask. So I'm really excited to do that today. And then also their Micro Essence Serum, which this is heavy. I have not even opened them. Like the tape is still sealed. So this is going to be a first impressions. First time using these products so we're opening them for the first time and i am so ready so if you're ready to see what my first impressions and thoughts on these products are make sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down here down below <laughs> to keep up with my future videos now let's get started Okay, so let's look at the mask first. It's got pro vitamin B5 and magnesium carbonate in it. It is a treatment mask, which the inside has four little sheets and four bottles. Not sure what the bottles are for. So we are gonna figure all this out together. Ooh, look at this little applicator. It's like a pink marble applicator. I don't know if y'all can pick up the color. It's really cute. So I'm just gonna read up real fast on how to use this mask because I was kind of expecting like uh, just put the mask on kind of mask, but there are steps to this. So let me figure that out real fast. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, that was pretty easy. I figured it out. It's not that complicated actually. You just mix the liquid with the powder pouch and it forms a mask thick, creamy type of consistency. Put it on your skin, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, and then you're supposed to be able to peel it off. So I'm really anxious to see what this looks like on the skin. I'm gonna go get a bowl, because I didn't know I would need a bowl. And then we will start our mask mixing and peeling and mask party over here. All right, so we've got our little tiny mixing bowl, the little mixing thing that comes with the face mask. We've got our step one liquid and our step two, which this liquid, is the liquid activator pro vitamin b5 liquid and then the powder is the triple mineral powder magnesium carbonate so i'm gonna go ahead and mix the two and i will show you all the consistency all right i feel like i'm mixing a potion here this is kind of cool normally you just go from bottle to face you don't get to like feel like a scientist <laughs> that's kind of what i feel like right now so this is it's gonna fall out if I try to show but this is what it looks like um, and then it says to mix really well make sure it's all mixed in this like instantly turns into a classic gooey consistency this is so much fun I had no idea I was gonna have this much fun in this video like I thought I was just gonna put a product on my face I didn't know I was gonna make the product all right, the simple instructions in case you're super new to this. Combine liquid and powder. Mix vigorously for 45 to 60 seconds. Apply to cleanse skin. Avoid eye area, hairline, and mouth, which my skin is nice and clean. Ready and prepped for a face mask. Let set for 10 to 15 minutes on your face. Peel downward to reveal a fresh complexion. And the before and after photos on the website are insane and they are after one use. So we should actually see a noticeable difference before and after, like right now versus in 20 minutes when I take this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on before it hardens up and then we'll be back when I come to peel it. 
So I am using my fingers to do the nose area because that little spatula thing was gonna make this impossible. All right, so this looks super weird. I'm not gonna lie, it was not the easiest applicable uh, face mask on the planet. I mean, we don't really care as much about the application as we do just the results. It could be the hardest mask in the world to get on, but if my face looks bomb afterwards, then it'll be worth it. Um, but that's just a note. The little spatula that it comes with, awesome for mixing. Honestly, I don't know if this is meant for applying it on the skin. It did make it easy in the large cheek forehead area, but just like the nose and upper lip, I needed to go in with my finger. And it's already starting to turn into a very jelly consistency. This is not gonna get hard. I'm gonna be able to talk, eat, drink wine, whatever I wanna do for I think the entire duration this is on my face. It's just supposed to form as like one solid mask because I believe I'm supposed to be able to like peel this whole thing down at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for 20 minutes, then come back. We'll see how the peeling goes. I'm a little nervous to be honest about it, but I can feel whatever is in here working. I do have a couple open blemishes. It doesn't sting, doesn't burn at all. Just wanna throw that out there too. If you have acne, this is not gonna like hurt you at all. Um, I just feel like something tingling in a good way. So I will keep y'all posted on if that feeling continues to get worse or better or just disappears. And we'll be back after 20 minutes to peel. All right guys, so I sat a little longer than 20 minutes. It's actually starting to like crust up which I think that means I've had it on for a little too long. So it says to peel downwards. I'm really nervous for this. So we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. Oh, 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 okay. So it's not gonna stay together, but it all comes off. <laughs> this may take me a minute to get off if this is how it's going to peel. Okay, so I've gotten like a ton of the big stuff off. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and soak the rest of this off because I think it'd be a little bit easier because it's starting to like crust around like the little crevices in my face. So we'll be right back. Okay, got the whole mask off. I think I let it sit for just a hair too long because where like right along my hairline and then a little bit near my nose, it got a little crusty and I don't think the mask was supposed to get crusty. So just those areas, it's a little challenging to get off, but I am sitting here looking at my face like, Oh my gosh, like my skin feels and looks so much brighter. It looks more plump. Like overall, it is so much more even. I feel like, can you tell? Let me know in the comments below if you can tell as much as I can because it looks amazing. I will say the mask was not the easiest mask in the world. One thing I wanted to note once I took the mask off, originally I was gonna say there was a lot of product in here. I actually had some leftover product, but I feel like it would have been easier to peel the mask off if I had put all of that product on my face. Cause the areas that it was easiest to peel my mask off was my cheek and my forehead where it was like the thickest on my skin, down by my chin, like up around my forehead, like near my nose, it was really hard to get it off and that was really thinly layered there. So I think I just needed to put all that extra stuff that was in here on my skin so that it just could have hardened up altogether and it would have been a thick layer to peel off and it probably all would have just come off together. So that is something to note if you are trying out this mask for the first time, use all of the product because I think that would have solved all my problems in peeling this off and making that a lot easier for me. But overall, I'm like, wow, I'm so, so, so pleased. In my head, I was thinking, I really hope this works because for how unique of a mask it is where you like make it yourself, you get a dirty dish up, you know, you gotta like 
put it on your face, you gotta peel it, you don't just wash it off. For how unique of a mask it is with the steps, it's honestly more than I would like to do for a mask, so it better be worth it, which now that I've taken the mask off, I'm like, it was worth it. I'm shocked. This is, wow. Like, I wish y'all could see my skin in person because I'm sure the camera is not picking up, like, the glow. The, the glow, like the healthy glow that I'm seeing on myself. Real fast, I wanted to read on the back. I was reading this when I had my mask on, but I couldn't talk that well. I just wanted to read a little description of what this is supposed to do. So it says this active formula features magnesium carbonate sourced from the Dead Sea, which is full of potent minerals and a liquid activator that is enriched with pro vitamin B5. Your skin will appear brighter, yes. Plumper, yes. <laughs> Smoother, yes. And more even toned. Like all of that that I said was exactly how my skin feels. Um, it says over time, you'll see improvements in the appearance of pore size and a more balanced complexion and overall a more refreshed and healthier skin. So this is scientifically formulated to instantly deliver hydrated skin, brighter skin, plumper skin, smoother skin, improvement in skin clarity and calmer skin. I mean, y'all see my face right now in terms of irritation or redness or puffiness there's absolutely none of that going on um this also does make your skin instantly cooler as soon as it hits your face so it's definitely a depuffing calming like removes any inflammation kind of mask which is fantastic so overall i'm so so freaking happy with my results i would suggest this to anybody to get more beautiful skin pretty much instantly. So I'm gonna go in with my last product, which is their Micro Essence. Um, like I said earlier, this stuff weighs a lot. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of product in here. <gasps> Ooh, it's gorgeous. Look at this bottle. This is so cool. There are bubbles everywhere. Okay, so this is their Micro Essence. So this weighs a ton. There's a lot of dense product in here. It's five ounces. So there's a lot of product in here. I just pulled up this product on the website. So I'm just going to read a little bit about what this is supposed to do. So the Micro Essence by Erna Lazlo is a restorative essence lotion scientifically formulated to treat dry, pigmented, and damaged skin, revealing lasting radiance. It's refreshing, weightless hydration melts into the skin, refining pores, brightening, and improving tone and texture over time. Skin is instantly energized, balanced, and deeply purified for an overall soft and supple complexion. Through a uniquely patented process, pore to activate microfluid technology enables thousands of encapsulated oil droplets to float in clear gel. Each tiny jellified bubble holds metafoam and raspberry oil suspended until the moment the micro essence bursts upon the skin releasing full active potency and a cooling sensorial experience. Ooh, I'm really excited to try this. And that's the first thing I said when I took it out of the bottle was there's like bubbles everywhere. So this is probably the nicest looking Erna Laszlo product I've ever had so far. Like this is glass. It, I keep saying it weighs a lot, but it really does for a skincare product. It is a chunk and there is no pump to this. It's just like, an, like a bottle. You just put some on your, Hand, but as soon as I tip it to the side, like the gel starts to fall out. So it's definitely a jelly consistency. So, oof, I kind of wish there was a pump just so I don't overuse it or so, you know, it can just get dispensed easier. But okay, just put some on my hands and I'm gonna go all over my face. Wow, first off, this smells fantastic. I will note it's a strong scent, so if you are like, can't do scents, this may not be the product for you, uh, but I love it. It's like, it smells like a meadow, like a flower garden, and it's like lavender-ish. Um, ooh, and it's starting to tingle now. Oh my God, now I'm having that experience, the sensorial experience it mentioned. My face is tingling like crazy, it feels so so cool um, and also I used about like a tiny pea size like I did not use a lot and I feel like I could have used even less 
um, because as soon as it touched my face, it turned into like liquid. Like it lost its jelly consistency and turned right into a liquid base. So it spread really fast. I do wish there was a pump because that would be a little easier to dispense onto the hands. So Erno Laszlo, if you're watching, give this little guy a pump for us. That would make this a little easier to use. It actually added like a nice little glow to my face, but it did not add like a shine to my face. I do not look like I have the sweaty glow right now. I look like I have a simple, subtle, like, almost looks like makeup. Like if I were to have put just a little highlighter here, a little highlighter here, it's doing the right things for my skin. So for my oily skin friends out there, this will not make you a shiny, glowy, sweaty looking mess. It just gives a nice, subtle little glow and I am actually going to dinner later on tonight. I'm not gonna put any makeup on. I'm gonna like get out of sweatpants, but I really want to keep it natural. Like the most I'm gonna do is put a gloss on. So I'm very happy and very comfortable with how it made my skin look good enough to go out for dinner tonight. So overall, this was a very successful video. I'm thoroughly like still shocked. I'm looking at the mask pieces right now and I'm just shocked at how glowy and radiant and plump and bright and just amazing it made my skin look. Of the two, I would suggest the mask because that was like an instant difference. This being in essence, being a form of a serum, I think is gonna take a little bit of time to honestly see the continued use results. So check back on my IG, I'll put my handle down below. I continue to use products for a really long time to give them the full test. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a whole YouTube video just about this product, but send me a DM on IG if you're interested to know how I've liked this long term. I guarantee I will have either finish the bottle or continue to order more. So if you're watching this a couple weeks after I filmed it, I will have a definite update on this. Just shoot me a message on IG and I'd be more than happy to give you my experience and what I truly thought of the product. But this face mask, get it, it's amazing. It's shockingly amazing. So overall, this was a very successful video. I'm thoroughly happy with both products. I will link them both below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.